Okay, here we go. Uh, not really sure where to start on this, but this is my uh, 67 El Camino. This is a uh, original V8 car, 283, four speed. Uh, I've done a lot to this car when I bought it. You know, that it needed to have a bunch of stuff done. Uh, you know, one of the things was that I needed to put a new carpet in it. Uh, it had been sitting in Florida for a lot of years and like the heater uh, cables were froze up, so I replaced those. I uh, put a new battery in it. I put a new, I had the old uh, oil uh, oil pressure gauge that was, you know, the manual, uh, the, uh, the uh, you know, just the oil going through it. So I bought an electrical gauge, uh, put a new, uh, a uh, new fuel sending unit in it. Uh, it is pretty nice. I mean, I just had this car repainted. I mean, just a few, you know, like a week ago. And it's that original Marina blue. And the car starts, runs, and drives beautiful. So that's that power steering too. But, uh, man, it's pretty much rust free. It's got the nice rallies on it, 15 inch. Uh, I'm gonna do a little walk around. There's no rust on this car. Everything, as far as I know, everything works on this car. All the lights, blinkers, you know, brake lights, tail lights, uh, all the gauges work, the heater works, radio. It didn't have a radio when I got it, so I, I bought a really nice aftermarket radio. That's an AM, FM, you know, all the new new stuff, but it looks, it looks like it's something that should be original for the car. You'll see it when I get in there anyways. So there's no cracks in the dash, the headlight is nice, no cracks in the seats, the dash is a decent, I mean, the, the uh, door panels are decent. I mean, pretty nice, you'll see. I do, I did buy a trunk mat for this car, a nice 67 El Camino trunk mat for this car. But I, I, that will go with the car. I forgot it home, and you'll see a picture of it. But uh, didn't want to put it in there because you know, the uh, that bed is so nice now. So I'm gonna do a little walk around, start it up, let it run, and then we'll go from there. So you can see, I mean, this paint is really nice on this car. And again, that's, that's that uh, marina blue. That's the original color this car was. Uh, the bumpers are decent. I'd call them driver quality. Same as all the bright work. It's, it's, you know, it's not mint by any means, but definitely driver quality. And it looks pretty nice down the side, as you can see. I mean, I, I got all kinds of pictures of the interior. I mean, you know what I mean about the bed? I didn't want to put I didn't want to put a mat in there. Man, it looks too nice now. Got dual exhaust. Sounds nice. The, that uh, tailgate goes open and closes like really nice. No issues. I mean, you can see down the side, it's pretty darn nice. I mean, I'm not saying this is a Conker's paint job by any means, but it's it's still really nice. Probably win some local car shows with this baby. You can see the interior is really nice. It's got that nice four speed. It is a Saginaw, so I'm assuming that might be original. It, it's a 20, it is a 283. Uh, I'm not sure it's original or not, but it looks, it looks, seems, appears to be original, but I just don't know, and it, it may not be. But still, a nice 283 and it starts and runs beautiful. Yeah. Got the little emblem on there, El Camino. So we're gonna open her up. You can see it's, it's not a chip box by any means. It's pretty nice. Let's get in and start this thing out. I mean, starts and runs beautiful. And that's it. the dash now as you can see right there it does work I mean pretty nice so we'll just get out open the hood up and listen to it doors close good Four barrel. It 
does have that aftermarket electronic condition, I'd say. I just bought that battery, it's a brand new battery. You can see it does have power steering. You don't hear no funny noises, no noise. all new hoses. I bought all new hoses for it, of course. Go back and let you listen to it. Step back a little bit. So there you go. 1967 El Camino 283 four barrel four speed dual exhaust. Really nice. Just painted it. Had this completely repainted. Everything stripped off. Uh, pretty much rust free. Uh, I don't know. If you have any other questions, you're going to have to get a hold of me and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Checking out.